Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie if you are new here and welcome back to another palette mashup video. In today's video, I'm going to be pairing together one of my ColourPop like palettes with just a bunch of random shades in it with the Tarte Clay Play Volume 1 palette. I think that this look turned out super pretty, so I'm super excited. Before we jump into the video, I wanted to give a huge shout out to the brand Dossier. They reached out to me and asked if they could send me a couple fragrances to try out and talk to you guys about on my channel. This video is not sponsored. They did send me the products, but I'm not making any money from this video, but I wanted to talk to you guys about them really quick. Dossier is a perfume brand that reimagines luxury perfume. So basically they dupe high-end luxury fragrances like your Versace, your Dior, stuff like that, and makes them for a more affordable price. They are also vegan, cruelty-free, and have a strong focus on sustainability. These are what the bottles look like. Um, like I said, they offered to send me two fragrances to try out. I picked, I knew right off the bat that I wanted to try Fruity Magnolia, which is their dupe for Versace Bright Crystal. I Bright Crystal is hands down my favorite fragrance. It's so expensive though. So I was really excited to find a brand that I could support their ideas, but also get something for a little bit cheaper. Um, so this is Fruity Magnolia. It has top notes of pomegranate, yuzu, aquatic accord, middle notes of magnolia, peony, and rose, and then base notes of amber, musk, and acajou wood. Um, it's literally the exact same notes as Bright Crystal. It performs just like Bright Crystal. It lasts all day on the skin, same longevity as Bright Crystal, everything. It's, it's perfect. Um, also, one of my favorite things about this is the fact that the lid is magnetic, like, which I think is just super cool because it's not... Like, it does require a little bit of force to get it off, which will make it really nice for traveling. Plus, this is a 1.7 fluid ounce, so it is good for travel. So, one of my favorite, like, just scents is Peony. So, the other fragrance that I decided to try out was Floral Peony, which is a, it's inspired by Chloe by Chloe. So, the top notes on this one are Peony, Lychee, and Lily. Middle notes are rose, magnolia, and freesia, and then the base notes are musk, cedarwood, and honey. This one, again, I went in blind on this one. I wasn't 100% sure if I would love it, but I do know that I love a lot of the notes that are in this, so I took my best guess on this one. This one is interesting. On first spray, I love it. When it starts to sit on my skin for just a second, I then don't love it. But then when it completely dries down, I love it again. It's really, really interesting. It is a little bit more musky than I would tend to go for, but I feel like I will like it a lot more, especially as the weather starts to cool down just a little bit. I feel like I'll really like this one. I also feel like this one would be really good mixed with other fragrances as well, but has the same lasting ability. I've gotten to try both out full day wear tests. They have fragrances for women, for men, and then they also have a unisex section as well. The vast majority of their fragrances are $29, but I did see a couple for $39, $49, and $59, um, but the majority of them are $29. They do have risk-free purchases, so you can return anything that doesn't work for you, and I did also notice that on their website they do have like bundle pricing, so if you buy multi more than one fragrance, um, you will get a discount. And speaking of discounts, the brand was kind enough to give me a discount code for you guys. So like I said earlier, I don't make any money off of this. This is just for you guys to use if you would like. I'm probably going to use it myself. And the discount code is BRI10. So I'll have that up on the screen for you guys. I will also have the link for it down below. That code is good. And hey guys, editing BRI here. Um, I messed up the date multiple times. So the promo code expires on August 26th at 11.59 p.m. So basically August 26th at midnight is when the code expires. Back to the video. So use it if you would like to. Like I said, again, I don't make any money off of it, but I do really believe in this brand and what they are offering. And I'm really, really pleased with the quality of these products. Really pleased with the packaging, 
it's a really good glass bottle feels really safe secure again really big fan of that magn magnetic lid Thank you again to Dossier for reaching out and believing in me and wanting to work with me. It's super, super exciting. So with that being said, if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, then just keep on watching. All right, I'm gonna go in with kind of like this flat angled but still fluffy brush. And I'm gonna dip into this bottom shade right down here, Timber. And I'm gonna use that on um, like my outer corners and kind of make like a, a slight wing shape. I'm gonna be a little bit messy with it because I'll clean it up at the end. Next up, I'm gonna go in to the shade Terracotta and use that to blend out the brown and start working that into my crease. Next up, I'm gonna jump over to my little Z palette and I'm gonna go in to this shade right up here on a big fluffy brush and pretty much just cover the rest of my lids and kind of also blend that into the brown. Last up for the mattes, I'm gonna go into this kind of pinky red shade and use that to define my crease a little bit more. All right, really quick, I'm gonna run back over everything with all of my previous shades, just make sure everything is nice and blended. And then last but not least, I'm going to go into this pressed glitter shade right here, which is um, Band T. And I'm just going to press that all over, kind of like the pink area on my lids. All right, I'm going to jump off and toss on a wing. I'm going to use a brown liner today and then um, put on my base. I'm not going to set it with powder because I am going to use cream products today, but I will be right back. Also, my eyeshadow perfectly matches my hair. All right, so I'm going to go in with some cream bronzer and I'm going to use the... <laughs> hold it on camera correctly. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in the shade Tan Lines, and then I'm going to top it off with a little bit of the Iconic Sheer Bronze in the shade Caramel Glow, because both of these are pretty sheer, but I feel like mixed together, they'll be very, very pretty. I'm also realizing that I grabbed a, a brush that's far too big for what I do. Is it too big? Nah, not too big. All right, so there is just the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of the Iconic London on the back of my hand. And then for blush, I'm gonna layer again. I'm gonna start off with the ColourPop Blush Sticks in the shade Under Pressure, and then I'm gonna top it off with a little bit of the Milani Cheek Kiss uh, liquid blush in the shade Cheeky Coral. I haven't used this in a really, really long time. All right, so there is Under Pressure just by itself. And then I'm gonna do the same thing I pretty much did with the Iconic London one. I'm just gonna squeeze out far less. Literally gonna use the same brush that I used for that one and just I'm really just showing you guys how incredibly fucking out of order I film my videos because I'm using a ton of stuff, and by that I mean three different things, four different things from 
uh, or actually five different things from hauls that literally aren't coming out until later this month or literally next month. So here we are, very out of order. Um, for my highlight, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this as my highlight. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. It's a primer, concealer, hydra highlighter, and BB cream. And then I'm also going to probably top it off with a little bit of the AOA Velour Highlight in the shade Sometimes. And this one's in uh, light, by the way. I think I'm just going to boop some out and then just like put it on my finger. That was way too fucking much. Let me, can I put some back for later? Please don't fuck it up, please don't fuck it up. It did not fuck it up. Very pleased with myself. All right, so I am going to uh, spot powder my face, uh, mostly like right you know, underneath my eyes, kind of like right here, chin, lips, sides of my nose, center of my forehead. I'm gonna just gonna take it down like a little bit because it's it's a lot like right in this area right here. Finish up underneath my eyes, kind of blend out with whatever's going on over here. Finish up the rest of my face, and I'll be back to show you guys what I put on my lips and show you guys the final look. Alright, so for my lips, I went in with the Milani Color Fetish Matte Lipstick in the shade Secret, which matches just perfectly. I love it so much. And this is the final look. I think it looks so pretty. My skin looks so good. I did end up taking, um, from this palette, I did end up taking that shade right there and putting it on my inner corners, and I did take my highlight brush and just a little bit right here just to kind of blend the powder into the cream just just a little teeny tiny bit but otherwise everything looks great the powder worked really well it's kind of you know absorbed into the skin a little bit the setting sprays worked all together it's not quite so powdery now but I'm not like so overwhelmingly shiny that like it's too much you can still see the bronzer you can still see the blush everything just looks really really pretty and I'm very very pleased so that is going to wrap up today's video with my random ColourPop shadows and my Tarte clay play volume one palette comment down below and let me know how you would pair these two palettes together I would love to know once again huge thank you to dossier for sending me those perfumes and for the promo code I'll have it in the description box for you guys if you would like to use it and that's it. Please subscribe if you have not already. It would mean the world to me. Like this video, ring the bell, do all the things. I hope that you guys have an awesome, awesome day, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!